What's going on? I'm your boy I King, and yes, the rest won't rain here in Africa. And you are now watching. That is right, this is the informative show that just doesn't give a fuck. You guys have been yelling at me to talk about a couple of topics, so I'm here to do that right here on YouTube for free. Justin Bieber apparently is a daddy, and he didn't even know it. That baby song, see, these pop singers, they got them subliminal messages right underneath the Tony. You gotta really listen. Apparently, a young lady says that, hey, I went to a meet and greet, and Justin Bieber was like, what's up, girl? Me, you, bathroom now. Because you know Justin likes to treat them bitches with class. So he takes her to the bathroom. Only spends 30 seconds putting his beaver into her damn. I went there. And nine months later, kapow! Young baby beaver. Now, she wants a paternity test to prove that it is his. And of course, as a celebrity being a celebrity, Justin Bieber's like, that trick be lying. If he is lying, this isn't gonna look good on Justin. And then he's gonna do this whole Chris Brown apology thing. And then people just will overlook it. It'll be cleared up if it's okay. Speaking of clearing up things and it being okay, when was it okay to get married and then divorce somebody in 27 days? Kim Kardashian. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I need to understand something. You mean to tell me that same-sex marriage is so terrible, but getting married for the money is not? Oh, just, oh, they were man and female. Sure, yeah, man and female got married for the money. I mean, come on. It doesn't take anybody. It doesn't take a fourth grader, a third grader, a second grader to understand that when you get married, you stick it out. And they got married for 27 days and she couldn't handle it? I don't buy that one bit, Kardashian. You may be sexy and fine, Al, you want to be, but that's kind of, mm-mm, mm-mm. Your mom can go on The View, shed all them tears all she wants to. Just keep it real. You did it for the money, you got paid, he got his cut for being in the show. Everybody's happy, everybody moves on. Another pool, you pulled it right over us. You did it, you did it. 60 second rant of the day. I really, really not understand this whole Occupy thing. You have people who don't have work. Then you have people who do have work, but they're getting harassed too for going to work. Now look, I'm all for a movement. I'm all for getting me a job, but I'm not gonna take somebody who already has a job away. I'm not gonna take that from them. Who, what, who the fuck am I? I can't do that. And if I was working and, and it's bad for me to be working instead of protesting, look, I'm doing what I can. You should try and do what you can too. The point I'm making is that there are a lot of people who just aren't understanding what they're protesting for. They're just going out there because it looks cool to do and things are getting destroyed. There doesn't seem to really be any progression from this at all other than people are just out and hanging out for whatever reason. But, but hey, if that's how the apocalypse is going to happen, then woo, 2012! But that's all the time I've got. I want you to go check out the blog page. Wow, it's right there. And I also want you to go hit me up on Twitter at EY3KING. I also want you to help control the YouTube population. And you need to add, rate, subscribe, favorite, thumbs up this video and all the other videos here that I put up. And Ariel, on all your favorite others, whoever else that may be, I'll share you for right now. I'm your boy I King, and I'll see you next time.